caught on camera. Tonight, we have the results of a CTV News investigation into city vehicles recorded speeding and running red lights. And the numbers may surprise you. On average, it happens twice a day. A city employee issued a ticket by one of its own automated traffic cameras. CTV's John Woodward obtained the enforcement data and joins us now live from Woodbine and Queen with the details. John. So right, it's cameras like these that are watching out for regular drivers breaking the rules, but it turns out they're also catching city buses, city vehicles, fire trucks, ambulances, even police cars. These pictures show city buses appearing to run a red light. This bus caught speeding twice on the same night, despite a road safety message on the back. All taken by the city's automated cameras and obtained by CTV News through a freedom of information request that gives an indication of how often things like this happen. In the past year, TTC vehicles got 14 red light tickets and 129 speeding tickets, one issued to a supervisor, another to a TTC constable. But they weren't the only ones. City vehicles were issued 167 speeding tickets and 9 red light tickets. Police issued 244 speeding tickets and 19 red light tickets. Fire issued 61 tickets and 15 red light tickets. And paramedics issued 62 speeding tickets and 23 red light tickets. 743 in the past year issued at a rate of about two a day. The camera is picking up who's speeding, period. The volume much higher than expected, surprising some city leaders. We want to catch anyone who is driving unsafely. And as it turns out, sometimes that's uh, uh, our own employee in our own vehicle. Right now, the city pays the tickets to itself. Then it tries to recover as much as $325 each from the employee who only pays if breaking the rules wasn't part of a legal emergency response. It's not clear yet how well this system is working. Breaking traffic rules can be deadly, and the same holds for city vehicles. One woman died when a TTC bus ran a red back in 2013, and a firefighter was charged after a fire truck hit an 11-year-old girl last year. Much of the time, it's the other vehicles running reds that professional drivers have to worry about. We know that speed kills. Amanda O'Rourke from 880 City says if even professional drivers are getting caught, it's a sign some wide roads are designed to set them up to fail. We have to re-engineer our streets to prioritize vulnerable road users rather than to prioritize moving cars quickly. Tickets from these cameras, she says, are just a small part of making Toronto's roads truly safe. The city says almost 200,000 automated speed enforcement tickets have been written and some 67,000 automated red light tickets. So when you all add all that up, the city vehicles part is less than 1% of that larger road safety problem. But it does go to show you how large that road safety problem may be. Reporting live from off the Danforth, I'm John Woodward. Michelle, back to you.